gonna help me oh hmm. and for that dissolve me just because i had a tattoo of bob risky drawing in my back oh my god i don't know how to do myself i don't know i don't know even since when i do this tattoo self bob risky didn't show me any love didn't even follow me back or anything i'm bob risky i didn't try this just because of your I really do this for cash. Like I didn't writing Katrina name is not for me to. I didn't do it for cash. I only did it. It's called fans love. Writing her name is for me to just still have a memory that okay, I have this particular celebrity that I really love so much, and I write a name on my thigh. But she bashing me this way is just like I feel really bad. Like people are coming to my DMs so and saying all sort of things. Like wait, like. She, okay, she wrote it online, like on Twitter, like, oh, if anybody write my name, like, she'll be happy. I did it for her Twitter, okay, fine. I'm a number one fan. I that was I know that she's just like, she's a like, bad, she like, oh, God, like, I feel really bad right now. People coming to my DM, like, so, so, like, this is just too much for me to take it right now, like. Oh, hello, people, like. So, um, I'm just, I'm just here to talk about this particular girl who drew my, or tattooed my name on her tie, Katrina. That's the video. And that's the picture. Like, how can you do something like this to your own body? Tattoo is permanent. If you love me, if you're my fan, there are ways you can actually show that by always posting my pictures, always on my comment section, um, always attending my events and everything, just to see me, take pictures with me. Not tattooing my name on your body. Guys, this is wrong. Celebrities that encourage these fans need to stop. How can you be giving these naive fans money to tattoo your face, for tattooing your, their, your face or your name on their body when you know this is really wrong to themselves and like it's totally hi good afternoon ladies and gentlemen good afternoon all my beautiful amazing fans good afternoon nigeria and the world generally totally mm, i bring you good tidings and there are some things i need to really talk about quickly might take some few minutes but i think if you actually watch this video till the end you must have learned something um the youth of today we we are in a total the youth of today are actually in a total mess i don't know I don't know where values have run to. I don't know what our parents are doing anymore. <laughs> it's not just carrying a child for nine months and um, giving birth to a child. And for some children, in my language, they call them oimi, you know, a child that gives birth to itself. There are some children that there is nothing that their parents will ever say or do for them that they will ever be contented or that they will appreciate because they want more. We want more, like Oliver. Like Oliver asks for more, we all want more. But I think our parents, if you're a mother, if you're a father, you should um, go back and take care of your children. You might be poor, you might not have food, you might not be able to put, um, you know, give your children the average three square meal in a day. But the children too, I think um, we should also understand. See our fingers, Yoba will say, oh, well, Dogba, our fingers are not equal and they can never be equal. Um, there are so many mishaps, there are so many things going on in Nigeria right now, the world at large. I remember yesterday when I was coming to work, tending to one of the stations and they said there's uh, another type of um, the COVID-19. There's another one that has come out again. And um, we have the bandits issue, we have the headsmen issue, <laughs> we have um, outgoing governors, um, even the present governors. Um, we have we have a lot of issues. People talking about um, how this um, Boko Haram, I mean headsmen, the kind of suffering and everything. That's not the issue for me today. My issue today, what brought me here, is simple. I remember the other day I stumbled into one video when one young girl said, "Oh, she loves Bob Risky so much that she loves him so much." and um she had to tattoo his picture on her body it's okay and i remember some years back i would have loved to have a tattoo on my body until i came across um one verse 11 because i'm not trying to print, print a picture i have a very big scalp i don't know if you can see this mark 
first I would have loved to have that covered with a tattoo. Not because I'm ashamed of it, I just feel okay. But until I came across that and my one of my elder sisters um, opened my eyes to it and I, that was how I desist from having a tattoo on my body. And believe me honestly, I have friends who do have tattoos and I'm not against it. It's, um, it's um, an individual opinion. It's what you want. But my problem is this. Because Bob Risky did um, appreciate this fan of his who actually did that. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's, there's a way somebody will show you that they love you and they're crazy about you and you appreciate them. And he did appreciate this girl very much. And um, gave her money. Agreed to sponsor a trip. And suddenly that became a trend people started doing it I don't know this girl's name I don't know what her name is because I, I saw her video yesterday and I was so upset I think she was in um, 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 the Big Brother Nigeria she was in the house there you went on Twitter you wrote something you would have loved somebody to have a tattoo of you in their body and this young lady did you did not come to say what she did was wrong after she had done it you came you did a video and you were all flirting with your hair. I don't know where the hair hung, that you were flirting with it and you were being sarcastic. That was sarcasm as far as Adam is concerned. And that was very wicked of you and that's very, still very wicked of you. You know yourself, I don't know, I think after this video, those people that know her will tag her. Because I know she can never talk to me, she can't even dare it. If she dares it, she will know that some people are very good with this too. All of us get equal level, but Chris gets category. My point exactly is simple. When you were tweeting that, we don't know that a lot of people, they look up to us. Some people can crazily love you to a very destructive point. You encouraged her, she tattooed you, and at the end of the day, you came and you said it was wrong, blah, 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 blah. You were giving instance. I couldn't even finish because I was so angry. I wish Instagram had a place where you could just send a voice note. I would have done that. To that stupid girl i call her stupid without any apology you came and you were blabbing ah that was wrong medicine after death you have done the damage already you were the one that first of all asked and apparently while you were in the house she liked you and she calls you a role model and i remember last night i saw another video that the girl was practically crying and lamenting and she said she regretted it taking that action the same girl that tattooed, had them, Bob Risky's um, 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 image tattooed on her body, the other day was lamenting, crying. And as a mother, I was moved. I felt a pain because I don't care. He's a cross-dresser, whatever. That's his, his own business. I'm not here to judge or condemn anybody. I'm not here to do that. There are certain things that I'm not in support of and I will never be. But my point is simple. She was embarrassed. She was assaulted. Her dress was torn. People had to come to her rescue around the Ikorodu area. And today, I saw another video. She said her parents have disowned her. That's a cup of tea. Oluka lukupelu titiye. Is a cross, she should bear it. But you, that lady, what's your name? The one that just that was in, in the BBN. Don't ever, don't ever do that. And the youths, our young men and young women, please think very well before you take certain decisions. Seek your parents' opinion. They might not be as exposed as civilized as you think you are. <laughs> but have you asked yourself if they've passed through the time that you are passing through because of your age or your influence? Because I know pair influence have destroyed a lot of lives. You don't just see things and jump into it. I remember Nkechi Blessing in one of those videos I, I saw again on social that, was, that went viral. She was telling somebody, don't do this, Marshall, don't do it. I don't lie to myself because even if you do it, one cover you won't get from me. 
Are you guys doing this because of money? The money that you use in do drawing that tattoo on your body, can't you use it to start something? Then when you're on the crossroads, somebody will support you and help you. See, all the things, all that glitters are not gold. Before gold got its beauty that is appreciated today, it has to go through the fire. That's to say if you're not born with a silver spoon, even if you're born with a silver spoon, ask your father if it was all rosy for him or her. Your parents, ask them if it was all rosy for them. It's not all of us that our father is like, that are like Ote Dola. It's not all of us that our fathers are like Dangote. Even Dangote himself, go and read about him. Was his father very rich? MKO Abiola of Blessed Memory. He told his story too. If you don't count one, you can't count two. Abu Tatan Farah, where did he? You people should have a life and think. It is not all that, what you see on social media that you should jump into. If you keep jumping like that, you will jump into one Indian one, one very deep well one day. And you will just be there alone. Have you asked all these entertainers, the so-called influencers, the so-called celebrity and yeah, yeah, pretty some of the liars that, do, that they do some things that they just put it on social media. You think uh, you might not be able to do what they do. And some of them, it took them time to get where they are today. Start your life. This social media is not just meant for, there are so many things you can use your phone to learn and do and achieve. It's painful. Let's go back to the drawing board. Our parents, you people should parent your children, teach them. The Bible says, teach your child the way to go so when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Teach them the way of the Lord. If it's Quran, teach them well. I'm not telling you to teach people how to kill, how to prostitute, how to steal, how to lie. No. Let's be truthful to ourselves. And my colleagues, celebrities, and then whatever, whatever you, you call yourselves, be truthful to yourself. There are a lot of people that they believe that all you show them are the truth. Tell them the truth once in a while. God bless you all. God bless us all.